let us get started over here so the next thing that we have to do is now we can go and create our box so first things that we have to do is we need to create a box in order to make use of our hive database so we have created a database and next is we need to create a box right so here i'll just make use of await and i'll just give, call it as hive dot the open box and you can see open box has a three that can see each open e open lazy box and open box so each open is just to uh, check whether the box is already open or not because before using it writing and reading we need to open the box and open lazy if you have a very large data set let's say of million of records and you don't want it to load inside your memory when you just open it right so you just want to use it or open it when you actually require so later in your application you may just read one time but you don't want it to open that particular big box when your application gets started right so that's uh, open box if you have a big data set make sure to use a open lazy box if you have a small data set, just make use of an open box and here i need to pass the parameter and the parameter will be the type of the box name so i'll just say as a home so this will be the box name that we will be using an open box and it will use uh, open this particular box with this particular name and if that is already open then it's not going to do anything so if the box is already open the instance is um, the instance is written so if the box is already open it's just going to return the same instance so it's not going to create a new instance for us so we have opened our box and now let's go to the uh, home page over here and i'll just create a late variable of the home box home box and we'll give a type after a box so let me import this box type which comes from the high flutter okay and then also i will initialize the init state so in this init state let's us initialize our the home box so we have a home box over here which is of equals to the hive dot the box and now we need to get that box so home and just make sure that this particular name and the name over here is the same so open box is just you're opening the box let's say you receive a courier or your, your parcel so before opening it you cannot see what is inside that one or you cannot add something inside that box or you cannot get what is inside that box so you must open that box before you can uh, take out what is inside that box right so here we have the same situation you have a box named home now we are opening it and now we are going to make use of it. now we can insert or we can read and write the value to that box using this instance so we have a home box over here now how do we write it right so first thing is that we need to write some data so we can read it so i'll just call it as a home box dot put so you have a put put all and put add put basically will take a key and the uh, key that we have to use and the value and put all you can put the map over here and put add takes the index right index and the value so uh let's go and let's go and use a put first of all so uh as i've already mentioned that it's no it's a no sql like that hive is a no sql like database and it requires a key and value so it it's everything is stored using the key value pair over here so the things that we have to pass is a key and the value so i'll just pass the key of um let's say a key as a one and the value let's say uh david over here and let's add some more and if i pass it as a two over here and let's say this one as a ham and this is number three then we'll pass it as a pop and then once we have this value then we have to read it right so here in the container let me remove that just just make a simple column over here and it has a children and let's pass in the text and i have a home box dot i can get it so now here we have a get and get add get basically we have to pass in the key that we have created and the get add we have to pass the index 
so currently we don't have any index that we have created we are just using as a key so we have to make use of a key and the key that we have is a one and that should be fine and let me keep some more over here one two three that we have so it should be for two and here it should be of a three let me close this one and uh, let me run my application now we can see we have a david ham and the pop that we have already created right so this is how we put in the value inside our box and this is how we can get it the value from our box so this is a very simple way of doing right and also like let's say if you want to insert a list or if you want to insert a map over here you can use of our put it should be pu to put all and here i need to pass in the map and then sorry it should be of a map right and here i need to pass the id sorry id would be of a four and then, then the value now value will be of um let's pass in the value of, a, of something like john and uh, here we have another let's say a uh, value of a five a key of a five and let's say of a value of something like a uh, sam and let's add another one which will be of a value a key each of a six and the value of a let's say sam to the uh, let's create my own name right so let's go and run our application and okay so we haven't read that value so i need to read that it from here so it should be of the four right so if i read it i get a zone from here because i have four and five six right so i need to read of a five and here i need to read of a six if i reload it you get all of the values over here so another thing that we have to take note over here is when you are giving a key it should be unique if you give a same uh, over here as a one and that is going to override the value that you have already written so if you have written a key with a one and the david and again you write the same key with a different value that will be overwritten so you can see that it's overwritten already right and the key and the name are it's it's going to override the the value so this, your key should be always uh different right? don't don't mix your key and the value so always have a unique key otherwise you will be facing a problem over here and uh, then that should be just rewrite it okay so what we will do next is that uh, we will just go and then let me add some more so i'll just make use of a home box that we also have an option to make use of an add and add all right it um it takes a list of editable of the dynamic values and add which just takes a dynamic value so here with the value i can just pass in without a key and just pass in the value of let's say uh, the one over here so uh now i have added it just automatically adds the auto increment key for us so it you can see that it says that save the value with the auto increment key so now we don't have a key and we, since we are not passing it and it will auto use its key we are not sure what what is will be that key right so um, let's go over here and just go and create a new one and i'll just say a key of the seven and just hard reload it you get that error right so type no right and the string also because that we don't have that particular key over here and how do we get this so for that we have to use a get get add right so we need to pass the index so for this it should be index of the zero because we don't have any other index that we have previously created so index always start with the zero just rerun your application and you should get that particular over there and i'm not sure from where this is coming so i guess i have to reinstall the application it may be from the previously that i have set some record with the same 
db so uh what i will do is i'll just uninstall the application okay and rerun the application and now here you can see that we get an index at a zero with this particular value that we have set up so make sure that it doesn't override over here so we get that particular and now we can again come back and write the with the key again over here so i just give a key of the uh, four five six and i just a seven and just i'll just make it as a eight or you can let's say if i give it as a 10 over here and now again i have to go and read that value so it should be of a get and the key should be of the 10 right and here i'll just see uh let's see a pan and then i'll just hard reload it and i get a pan over again over here. i set up a different key and again if i add this particular uh with the add value so i have to remember the index right so so it's better just to use a put or a add add a do not mix together so it will be a bit confusing for you guys to how to work with so it's best to just make use a put or either a add and i'll just say that i need to get this one so i just need to set as a get add and this should be of a zero and it should be of a one so i'll just replace it with the one get at one and just hot reload it and i get the same again so they want they want so i can just say this one to something like a, a van and just update it so did it update it no it did not update for me right so you, you get the same so same value so this is uh, just adding it we haven't seen how to update it we'll see it later how to update it currently we are not seeing how to update and delete on the later stage we'll see how we can create the different objects how we can create how we can update we how we can delete it so that's all for this one this is just a basic of the unbox how to create your box and how to open it and how to make use like insert and get get and read and write the value from our box so hope you learned something over here and we will meet up in the next lecture till then have a great day